Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up the auto scene switcher in OBS Studio. This feature is really cool because it allows you to automatically have it switch between the many scenes you might have without having to actually do it manually. So just to kind of show you what I have so far, I have my starting soon screen, I have my binding of Isaacs screen, and I have my Photoshop screen. Now these are all in separate scenes. I have a cool transition, which you can watch in my previous video uploaded. And to get started with setting up the auto scene switcher, you just want to click tools and click automatic scene switcher. Now, once you're on this screen, there are two little drop down areas. The first drop down area is the window that you want it to capture or the window that it's going to be using when it decides to scene switch. So if you want to set the scene it's going to be using, you click this drop down. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have it basically switch to my intro screen when it is not on any of the windows matching. So for my intro screen, I just want it to switch to intro screen when no windows match. And I don't need to set anything specific for my intro screen. I just want it to switch when no windows match. Now to set it to automatically switch to my binding of Isaac scene, I need to set what window it's going to use. So the scene is on the right. I'm going to set my game scene because over here, my game scene is set. So for the window, it needs to be binding of Isaac. That's the game it's going to be capturing. And I press the plus. So now for my game scene, it's automatically going to switch when it detects I'm in Binding of Isaac. And now for my Photoshop scene, I'm going to set it to Untitled because that's the name of the window that's for Photoshop. And then add that as well. Then once you are ready for it to do this, click Start and Close. So now I'm going to leave my OBS up here in the corner. I'm going to move my Binding of Isaac over here and you'll notice it already switched. Now, if I do the same for Photoshop, well, as you can see, I've clicked off of Binding of Isaac and it switched back. Now I'll switch to Photoshop and uh, here, let me, let me make uh, Photoshop smaller. So now you'll notice it has automatically switched to Photoshop. If I click back into OBS, it's going to switch because it's detecting it based on the window. So I'll minimize it again. It's switched back. And now I'll switch back to Binding of Isaac. And it has switched back to the Binding of Isaac screen. Now if you want to turn this off, you can go back to Automatic Scene Switcher and just press Stop. As well as if you don't want it to switch, you can just set it to Don't Switch. And what this will basically do is if I switch to the Binding of Isaac screen, it won't switch back when I unclick. So I'll pull up Binding of Isaac. You'll notice it's switched, but now it won't switch back. It will keep it on Binding of Isaac. So I recommend having a scene for it to switch back to, such as your intro screen or your AFK screen, whatever you want to use. And that's it, really. Uh, you can do this per a lot of scenes. I know a lot of League of Legends streamers would really like this option. You can also set the... Um, amount of time for it to check so if you want it to wait a bit before it switches back you could do that as well and if you ever want to disable it just press stop and that's pretty much it i hope this was helpful have a good day